Hello everyone, myself Soumya BJ, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, SJBIT. The subject is Basic Electronics. Subject code is 18ELN 14-24. The textbooks that are to be referred for this subject are Basic Electronics by D.P. Kothari, I.J. Nagrath, Electronic Devices by Thomas L. Floyd. Right now, I am discussing about the Module 5 topics. These are the contents of Module 5. In this session, I will be discussing about the combinational circuit examples. The off adder is an example for a combinational circuit. As we know, the combinational circuit is a digital circuit in which the output depends only on the present input. It does not take into account the previous input or outputs. So, we tell that the combinational circuit will not be having memory combinational circuit do not have memory because here the output depends only on the present inputs. And one of the most important example of combinational circuit is adder. The adder performs the addition of the inputs. Basically, there are two types of adders in the combinational circuits of adder and full adder. The OFF adder is a simple combinational circuit which adds two input bits. It adds any two input bits and there will be two outputs for the OFF adder. Those outputs are represented as SUM and CARRY. So, we tell that it adds two bits at a time and produces a two bit data that is SUM and CARRY two inputs and two outputs. This is a block diagram, circuit diagram of the OFF adder. It performs the binary addition. It performs binary addition. Do not get confused here. The gates perform logical addition. Here basically we are dealing with a circuit which performs the addition the addition and the addition that is performed by this OFF adder is binary addition. Since there are two inputs, those two inputs can be represented as the variables A and B. And as I told, there are two outputs here, SUM and CARRY. For the two inputs, we can write four combinations as 00, 01, 10 and 11. And uh, there are two columns for the output, one is SUM column, another one is CARRY column. Let us perform the addition for each individual combination now. For the first case 0 plus 0 is equal to SUM 0 and CARRY 0. For the second combination A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1. So, 0 plus 1 SUM is 1, CARRY is 0. For the third combination 1 plus 0, sum is 1, carry is 0. For the fourth combination 1 plus 1, sum is 0 and carry is 1. Here it is performing the binary addition. So, 0 plus 0 is 0, sum is 0, carry is 0. 0 plus 1 is sum is 1, carry is 0. 1 plus 0 is uh, sum is 0 and uh, sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 1 sum will be 0, will carry will be 1. This is performing binary addition. Now, let us construct the circuit diagram based on this true table. The true table is the relationship between the input and output. Based on this true table, we can write the circuit diagram for this off adder. Fine. If I take a sum column, if I take this sum column, in this sum column, I need to take the combinations for which the sum is having output equal to 1. For which combinations it has got sum equal to 1? Okay. The sum is having a logic on output for the combination when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1. It means A bar B. And for one more combination, the output will be 1 that is A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. So, plus A B bar for these two combinations. 
for these two combinations the output of sum is equal to 1. What about carry? The carry is equal to 1 for the combination in which A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. So, how can I write the expression of carry now? Carry is equal to just A B only for this input combination the output will be equal to 1. Based on this we can write the circuit diagram right. As you know uh, sum is equal to A bar B plus A B bar which is this expression? This is the expression of exclusive OR gate right. This is the expression of exclusive OR gate. So, by just using A exclusive OR gate I can implement the sum expression. So, there are two inputs taken as A and B. These two inputs are given to the exclusive OR gate. This is the exclusive OR gate. The output of this exclusive OR gate is sum because this exclusive OR gate is performing what? A bar B plus A B bar sum. Similarly, coming to the carry, what is the expression for carry? It is A B. A B is performed by using which gate? the multiplication of two input variables can be performed by using a OR gate. So, from the same input terminus A B you just take a line ok at the point where you are taking the input you put a dot otherwise you cannot signify that the input is coming from that particular line. So, always make a habit of putting the dot in that line from where you are taking the input. You are taking the input from both A and B and these two inputs will be given to which gate hand gate and gate and the output will be carry the hand gate performs the multiplication of a and b and gate gives the carry expression ok this is how you get the uh, expressions from the true table and using the expressions this is how you can do the implementation using the gates. So, finally what is the expression for sum of the of adder? it is a bar b plus a b bar what is this equivalent to a exclusive b and what is the expression for carry carry is equal to a multiplied with b ok here this of adder as you can see we are using how many inputs here two inputs ok it means whenever i am using two inputs here you need to observe that it is not taking the previous it is not taking the previous uh, the carry that is been resulting from the addition from the previous addition is not been considered here. The carry that is been resulted from the previous addition will not be considered because it is having only two input bits that is that becomes one of the main disadvantage of the off adder. So, in order to overcome this disadvantage in order to include the carry that is been resulting from the previous addition also we are using one more type of adder called full adder ok. So, to overcome the disadvantage of adder that it requires only 2 bits at a time it can take only 2 bits at a time we are using one more adder which is named as full adder. The full adder uses 3 input bits the full adder uses 3 input bits as usual there will be 2 inputs A and B with these 2 inputs where there will be one more input which I call it as carry input. So, I have taken that variable as C with the suffix n and similar to the similar to the off adder here also in the full adder we have got two outputs one is sum another one is carry. Here in order to just differentiate this carry from the carry input that we are taking I will just signify this carry of the output as carry out or I can represent this as C with the suffix out just to differentiate such so just to differentiate it from the carry input ok. The carry input is C in and the carry out is represented as C out. The full adder is also an example of combinational circuit. It adds only 3 bits that is 3 inputs in order to overcome the drawback of off adder we are using full adder which has got one extra input named as C in which takes into account the carry output the carry of the previous addition and two outputs sum and carry. The bits A and B comes from the two registers 
and the third input C in comes from the carry generated by the addition of next lower significant bit. It produces two outputs sum and carry. This is represented as carry out and the input carry is represented as C in. This is a true table of the full adder. Okay, two, three inputs A, B, C in, two outputs sum and carry out. This since there are three inputs, totally we will get 2 power 3 is equal to 8 combinations. 2 power 3 is equal to 8 combinations. Totally we get 8 combinations here. Yeah. So, so in this case 0, 0, 0 is the first combination. 0, 0, 1 is the second combination. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Totally from 0 to 7 totally 8 combinations will be written for the inputs. There are 2 outputs sum and carry out. Okay. The addition of 3 input bits results in this sum and carry out. Yeah, we do A plus B plus C in. So, the first case is 0 plus 0 plus 0 is sum is 0 carry is 0. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is sum is 0 carry is 1, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is sum is 0, carry out is 0, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is sum is 0, carry out is 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is sum is 1, carry out is 0, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is sum is 0, carry out is 1, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is sum is 0 carry out is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is sum is 1 carry out is 1 like this we perform the addition of 3 input bits and we get the resultant output that is sum and carry out now this full header which is being represented in the form of truth table taking the combinations of the output for which we have got the output equal to 1. Taking the combinations of the inputs for which we have got output equal to 1, we do the Boolean expression. We get the Boolean expression for both sum and carry out. For example, if I want to find the expression for sum, I take the combination for which the output is 1, the second combination, the output is 1, the third combination, the output is 1. Similarly, the fifth combination, the output is 1, the seventh, eighth combination, the output is 1 for some column. Particularly, correspondingly, the corresponding input combinations for this output equal to 1 are to be taken to get the Boolean expression for the sum. For example, if I want to write the expression for sum, I can write it as the first combination is this one, right? For this, I need to take the input combination now. So, A bar, B bar, C plus. Second combination for which the output is 1 is A, uh, A bar, B and then uh, C plus. Next one is A, B bar, C bar. Next is A, B, C. Like this, I can get the expression for sum. Similarly, I can get the expression for uh, the carry also, considering the combination of the inputs for which the output is equal to 1. These particular combinations of the inputs have to be considered. And after doing the simplification for this sum and carry out, sum and carry out, I can do the final implementation of those simplified expressions for both sum and carry. And one more important thing is the full adder can be implemented by using two half adders. By using two half adders, I can do the implementation of the full adder. As you can see in this diagram, in this diagram there are two full there are two half adders that are being used in order to satisfy the sum and carry out. Okay, here this is the first half adder 
this i call it as the first half adder this is the first half adder to this we are giving the inputs the half adder has got two inputs right so those two inputs are p as well as q p and q are the two inputs of this half adder from this the output that i get from this the output that i get will be sum and the carry sum and the carry okay now this sum whatever i am getting from the first half adder first half adder has to be given as input to the second half adder okay the sum of the first half adder is given as one of the input to the first half adder and to the first uh, second half adder one more input will be given that is my carry as you know in the full adder what is the advantage the advantage is it can take the carry of the previous addition into consideration it can uh, while doing the addition of two input bits it will take one more bit into consideration that one more bit will be the carry from the previous addition so that one more bit will be given as input to the second half adder with with the sum output of the first half adder to get added now these two will be added and finally whatever sum i get from the second half adder from the second half adder will be the final sum of full adder it means the sum expression of the full adder this is the sum expression that we derived just now this is equivalent to this sum expression similarly the carry value i want for the full adder right how do i get the carry of the full adder now okay the carry that i got from the first the carry that i got from the first half adder and the carry that i get from the second half adder the carry output that i get from the first half adder and the carry output that i get from the second half adder will be added together in to in order to add those two carries which i which gate should i use i should use a or gate because a or gate performs addition operation these two carries will be added and finally i will get the carry output which we call it as c out of the c out of what c out of the full adder this is how we do the implementation of full adder using two of adders let me do uh, the simplification of the sum and carry out expressions of the full adder let me first start with the sum expression as we know the sum expression can be got from the true table by considering the combinations of the inputs for which the output is equal to 1 so the sum expression sum sum it can be written as s can be written as equal to a bar b bar c plus a a bar b c bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b c now let us take the common in this expressions now okay this will be equal to i can take a bar as common means a bar into b bar c plus b c bar again in this if i take a as common this is equal to b bar c bar plus b c now this is in the form of again exclusive or exclusive or means what is the expression a bar b plus a b bar this is the exclusive or expression this is in the form of this exclusive or expression right this is in the form of this exclusive or expression so how can i write this expression now i can write this as a bar into this is what actually b bar c plus b c bar this is b exclusive c plus a into what is this this is b x nor or i can write it as b exclusive c all complement b exclusive c all complement results in b x nor c this is as i told in the form of a bar b plus a b bar so this can be written as a exclusive b exclusive c so my sum expression is a exclusive b exclusive c oh this is how we do the uh, implementation sorry simplification of the expression of the sum for the full adder 
similarly let me show you how i can do the simplification of the carry of the full adder the carry out expression of full adder is c out is equal to uh, a bar b c plus a b bar c plus a b c bar plus a b c this can be again simplified in the way that we did for sum here okay which can be taken as common here c i will take c as common c into uh, a bar b plus a b bar plus this will be a b c bar plus a b c so a b can be taken as common a b into c plus c bar so here the c plus c bar is equal to what it is equal to 1 so this will get cancelled a b into b 1 will be all now equal to a b only so coming to this side this is a bar b plus a b bar is equal to a exclusive b plus a b into 1 this results in the final expression has c into a exclusive b plus a b okay here c means it is nothing but the c in of the input c is nothing but the c in that we uh, come across in the true table of the full adder i have taken just c here instead of c in so c out the final expression of the full adder will be c in into a exclusive b plus a b i have listed out the same expressions whatever i have simplified just now here sum is equal to a exclusive b exclusive c c out is equal to a exclusive b c in plus a b here also we can include c in here sum is equal to a exclusive b exclusive c in c out is equal to a exclusive b into c in plus a b this c out can uh, again be simplified if because if i want to do the implementation of this c out using the basic gates using the basic gates or by using only NAND gates or using only NOR gates I cannot use this particular expression instead of this I need to use a one use one more expression uh, which becomes easier in the implementation because it requires a fewer number of gates it requires the lesser number of gates compared to this C out expression that is why we go for one more expression here one more simplification here what I do is I take the same C out expression here same c out expression that i derived from the truth table that i got from the truth table i will do the simplification of this expression in another way in another way i will do the simplification in another way what i do is i take the expression i retain a bar b c in plus a b bar c in same uh, only from the last i take the common as c in uh, a b and um, the remaining terms will be c in bar plus c in as we know a plus a bar is equal to one so uh, c in bar plus c in is equal to 1 fine so this a b into 1 this becomes a b into 1 now in the next expression what i do is i will take i will take b as common b as common uh, the first and third term from the first and third term first and third term i take b as common i get the expression as a bar c in plus a into b plus a b bar c in now as we know a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b a plus a bar b absorption law absorption law a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b so if i tell uh, a bar c in plus a a bar c in plus a what it is equivalent to according to absorption law it is equivalent to a plus c in so a plus c in into b plus a b bar c in this is again equivalent to if I do the multiplication of the individual bits a b plus b c in plus a b bar c in again from the first and the last I take the common I take the common as a in this case a into b plus b bar c in plus b c in fine now in the next step what I do is uh, I replace b plus b bar c in b plus b bar c in again by using absorption law I can replace it as b plus c in a into b plus c in into uh, b plus c in plus b c in sorry here one uh, plus symbol is been missed here this is plus there is a plus here a into b plus c in plus b c in 
now when i do the individual multiplication now when i do the individual multiplication i get the final expression as ab plus ac in plus bc in this is my carry out expression this expression can be used to do the implementation of this carry out using only basic gates or using only nand gates or using only nor gates now you can see one more circuit diagram here this is the circuit diagram of the full ladder using two of adders using two of adders this full ladder is been implemented the same block diagram expression whatever i showed this is pertaining to the expression pertaining to the expression means right now we derived the expression right using that expression how the full ladder can be implemented using two of adders that is what been shown in this particular diagram okay here uh, this becomes my first of adder this becomes my first of adder right to the first order of adder i give the inputs right and uh, the inputs will be a b a and b and what are the outputs here sum and carry what is the sum expression sum expression is a exclusive b what is the carry expression it is a b that is what been satisfied here yeah. a exclusive b for sum and a b for carry means here yeah, from this i get sum and from this i get carry from this i get carry now this sum is given as input to the second of adder for the second of adder again there are two inputs two inputs okay <coughs> and those two inputs are the one will be the sum of the first of adder another will be carry in from of the carry in of the previous addition these two are been given as inputs to the second of adder okay now the inputs are what a exclusive b and the c in and what is the sum expression of the second of adder again in the it is in the form of uh, first input exclusively odd with second input the second input uh, first input is what a exclusive b a exclusive b that is exclusive odd with second input second input is what c in so a exclusive b exclusive c in this is my first input this is my first input this first input is exclusively odd with the second input this is my second input this is how i get the sum expression of the full ladder now moving on to the next output that is carry okay here yeah, the first adder first of adder carry is c second of adder carry is c if i write this as c1 and if i write this as c2 these two carries are will be added these two carries will be what it will be added and i get the carry output of the second of adder it means the carry output of the second of adder is what the carry output of the second of adder is c1 plus c2 here c1 is what c1 is what c1 is ab c1 is ab okay and what is c2 here c2 is got by multiplying multiplying the two inputs here that in two inputs of the second half adder two inputs of second half adder is what one input is a exclusive b and one more input is what c in so a exclusive b into c in the carry of the second half adder is got by multiplying its inputs those two inputs are a exclusive b is one input and c in is one more input multiplying those inputs we get the output of the carry output of the second half adder so what is the carry output of the second half adder now a exclusive b multiplied with c in this is my second half adder output now the carry output of the first half adder and the carry output of the second half adder are to be added to get the final carry of the full adder it means what is the expression for carry out now a exclusive b into c in plus a b a exclusive b into c in is the carry of the second of adder a b is the carry of the first of adder these two will be added to get the c out of the full ladder this is how uh, we can justify this expression in the form of a circuit diagram in the circuit diagram we have implemented full ladder using two half adders satisfying the expressions of sum and carry out of the full ladder hope this is understandable for you next continuing this topic we are moving to the next type of adder which we call it as parallel adder in the parallel adder 
any number of bits can be added by cascading the full ladders in the parallel ladder any number of bits can be added by cascading the full ladders for example if i want to add two four bit numbers if i want to add two four bit numbers we need four full ladders if i want to add if i want to add if i want to add two four bit numbers two four bit numbers how many full ladders i require i require four full ladders i require four full ladders and those four full ladders are to be connected in parallel let us to take those two numbers that are to be added as the first number is a3 a2 a1 a0 this is first four bit number second four bit number is b3 b2 b1 b0 i can write it in small letters also uh, in the diagram i taken it as small i uh, written in small letters you can take a capital letter or you can take a small letter according to convenience the output will be that is the sum right this is the sum uh, that i am corresponding to the sum will be s4 s3 s2 and s0 if i want to understand the operation of this four bit parallel binary adder it can be understood with the help of two four bit numbers these two four bit numbers if i take the first number a3 a2 a1 a0 as 1 0 1 0 0 and if i take the second four bit number that is b3 b2 b1 b0 as 1 0 1 1 now the least significant bit full ladder the least significant full ladder adds a0 and b0 this is my least significant full ladder the this uh, this this full ladder which corresponds to the least significant bit adds a0 and b0 to give the sum s0 to give the sum s0 as well as it gives the carry the carry it it will as well as it gives the carry here the carry of this full ladder is c1 don't get confused here uh, here c0 is nothing but the carry input that is been coming as one more input to this full ladder i am speaking about the carry output here so uh, sum s0 is one output and the carry c1 is one more output of this full ladder okay this a full ladder which corresponds to the least significant bit it adds a0 and b0 now so it will add 0 plus 1 it will add 0 plus 1 okay this 0 plus 1 results in what now this 0 plus 1 results in the sum and the carry as well as it may take the carry output of the previous addition also if this is equal to the carry c0 is equal to 0 now 0 plus 1 plus 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 results in what s not equal to s not equal to 1 and c1 equal to 0 c1 equal to 0 now now let us move on to the next bit after this least significant bit which adds a1 and b1 so a1 plus b1 plus it will add the carry of the previous addition that is c1 so this is 1 plus 1 plus 0 now 1 plus 1 plus 1 0 1 plus 1 plus 0 results in what s1 equal to 0 and c2 equal to 1 c2 equal to 1 now we have given the carry input to the next full ladder next full ladder which adds a2 and b2 a2 and b2 is how much here a2 and b2 is 0 0 so 0 plus 0 plus c2 is 1 so 0 plus 0 plus 1 how much it is now sum is equal to sum equal to 1 and carry is equal to 0 the carry output that is c3 is equal to 0 fine now 
Let us move on to the next full ladder which corresponds to the most significant bit which adds A3 and B3. So, A3 plus B3 is equal to 1 plus 1 with that it has to add the carry also. So, 1 plus 1 plus 0. 1 plus 1 plus 0 results in what? Sum is equal to 0 and the carry is equal to 1 and the carry is equal to 1. It means finally what is the output that I am getting here? The output that I am getting is actually the output that I am getting is actually what here? S0 is 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the output of the two 4 bit numbers. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the output of adding two 4 bit numbers in which we have taken A3, A2, A1, A0 as 1, 0, 1, 0 and B3, B2, B1, B0 has 1, 0, uh, 1, 1. Okay, now if I add these two numbers, what is the output that I get if I do the direct addition and uh, just, just uh, if I want to justify the answer? 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 with a carry 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry 1. So, same output I am getting here 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, this is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 that I got now by doing the justification by means of this parallel ladder. This is the output that I am getting by doing the addition directly. And this is the output that I am getting by analyzing in the circuit diagram. These two answers are correct. So, I can tell that this binary addition is been possible by the circuit diagram in a proper way. I can justify the answer here. So, whenever we want to add more number of bits, we can use the parallel header. In this case, we are adding a 4 bit number. If I want to add more than 4 bit, I need to add more number of full ladders. I need to consider more number of full ladders so that I can add more number of bits. And instead of 2 bits, uh, 2 uh, 4 bit uh, numbers, I can consider more than 2 also. Instead of uh, 2 A, we just have taken only 2 values here A and B. Instead of 2 values, I can take more number of values also uh, with more number of bits and I can perform the addition by means of this parallel add up. This is about the first example of the combinational circuit adders. Right now we discussed about three types of adders, the half adder, full adder and the parallel adder. This is the bibliography of the subject. This is about, uh, thank you.